as for control, bedbug management relies on the principles of integrated pest management. To give you the quickie is uh, a way to best manage pests while reducing the human health, the environmental, and the economic risks of having pests and using pesticides. Prevention, sure, that's part of IPM for bedbugs. Everybody needs to be thinking about it and avoiding it. Never pick up items discarded on the street. I can't emphasis, emphasize this more, but it still happens. Cleaning and vacuuming and physical removal, these are all very important. Make sure the vacuum bag is tossed out from the vacuum cleaner. We really don't have effective traps. They can be used for monitoring. The ones that they're trying to design would not be used for control. Like we have uh, other sticky traps, for example. Can't be used for bedbugs for control because bedbugs walk under sticky traps, not on top of them. Are there baits for bedbugs? We're the bait. We're the only thing so far that we know that uh, bedbugs really want. Some of the controls for bedbugs include some non-chemical, uh, and that is all the cleaning and <coughs> steam and uh, heat that we can use. There are pesticides available for bedbugs, but um, they're really limited in their effectiveness and the types that we have. But what we really need to do is integrate what we have, those types of tools, along with cleaning, along with education, and prevention. The bottom line is that prevention is the best. Prevention is the cure. Bed bug bombs, or, or bug bombs here. <laughs> Don't use total release foggers to control bed bugs, because the, um, the way that they release aerosol pesticides into the environment, into the home environment or whatever, it doesn't get into the cracks and crevices where bed bugs live. And the EPA was considering regulating bug bombs because of total release foggers because every so often a house blows up because somebody uses too many of these things and doesn't turn off the pilot light on the, on the stove. Don't throw away all your belongings. People are prone to just dumping everything because they think that's how they're going to purge bed bugs from their home. Most of the items that people own can be treated. Wood furniture can be washed very easily. We usually recommend something like Murphy's Oil Soap, which is great for wood. Soft items like clothing and shoes and pillows can all be put in the dryer on, you know, at, at a high temperature setting for 30 minutes or an hour. We want people to avoid used furniture and refurbished mattresses. We said that items on the curb are probably there because of bed bugs. They might be infested already. You don't want to bring those home. You know, just really labeling things as infested with bed bugs because that may discourage the, you know, that's prevention. That's preventing someone else from having this problem. And also simplifying the home. If it requires putting things into tubs, into a storage locker for a period of time, you know, that may be part of the solution. Simplify the home, get rid of the clutter. You don't have to throw it away, but you do have to live without it for a little while. How do you decontaminate surrounding items like appliances, TVs, radios, remote controls? One option that uh, someone in the pest control industry said is to place the TV in a bag, in a garbage bag or something, with some pyrethrin spray and leave it there for a little while. What's a little while? I don't exactly know. Another option is to isolate the appliance on a TV stand with a ring of Vaseline around it and a ring of Vaseline on the cord so that you basically isolate the item. You can still use it, but because the bed books can't cross that barrier, uh, you may be able to, number one, see if it's infested and number two, prevent them from getting back to you. Um, wood furniture and floors can be washed, books can be frozen or possibly heated carefully or dusted with a silica dust or stored. Just put them in a container in a um, Tupperware thing and store it somewhere. If you're going to throw out the bed frame and get something new temporarily, get a metal bed frame. That, you, know, you buy a mattress and a box spring, it comes with a free metal bed frame. Keep that until you're, you've got the problem under control. Then go ahead and buy new nice furniture. This is one of the most essential parts of bed bug. You need to encase your mattress. Don't go buying a new mattress. You need a place to sleep. Don't throw things away. Encase them. This particular encasement has no seams. It has no flaps. Bed bugs cannot get through it. It has like this patented technology to prevent bed bugs from getting through it. People have been experimenting with steam and heat. There are high output, high output steam cleaners that professionals can use. This is a good choice for children's mattresses. Again, children need a place to sleep, and this is one way to um, really sanitize a mattress, and heat will kill, steam will kill the bed bug eggs. The treatments should be made to all areas known to have bed bugs, plus at least one room in each direction. Um, wall voids between rooms should be treated with a dust if possible. That's always a good option to make a barrier between rooms. 
multiple unit buildings have to be dealt with on a building wide basis. There's uh, a figure somebody said that 30%, if you have 30% infestation in a building, the entire building needs to be treated because they could be anywhere.